Uh, you can go ahead, Karan. Yes. So uh, this meeting, this particular workshop is on the basics of designing, like I had told you before. And uh, in this, we will keep it an open session. So that is why I would want you guys to either come on video or be prepared to unmute yourselves because it's not going to be only for I talking and you guys, you know, sitting there in the video of our video and then doing this. That is not going to happen. We are going to ask you questions. We want to know what you guys are doing. We want to know what we can, how we can help you do the same thing in a better way. And through peer learning, we would want all of you to get something better and the designs that you do gets better over a period of time. That is what we are planning to achieve through this session. So if uh, there are any questions at any point in time, we will take breaks in between and during then you can ask your questions. Up until then, I would request you to hold off with your questions and during the break or during the pause time that we uh, provide is when you can go ahead and ask your questions. All right. So that's how the session is going to be lined up as. It's pretty straightforward and simple. So be prepared to have some fun because there is no learning when we are not having fun. That's my belief. And I believe together we can have a lot of fun and learn something together collaboratively. Yeah. So let's do this. Let me quickly share my screen and show you a couple of designs that can help you basically. So if you look at it, um, if you look at our, uh, there was this one poster that had come out a couple of days ago, which was about the proxies. Proxies being assigned. Uh, Karan, sorry to interrupt. Are you sharing something because there's nothing on the screen? Yes, I'm just about to start off on okay. the screen. So if you guys remember, there was this uh, design with respect to how to go about how to go about assigning the proxies for your particular club, how that should be. And this is how I came up with that poster, basically. Let me just show you that poster really quick. See this? So now, basically, what will happen is, now in this, I would say there are four simple components to it. So one and the first and foremost thing is the context. What is the context of that particular design that you're going to make? Who is the audience for it? Is it your club members? Is it outside of your club? Is it a general outside social media? Is it a print media? Who is the audience? Understanding the audience becomes your first and foremost priority because based on that, your design can undergo a lot of transformation. Now, first we identify that. And second is to pick up those options which will enhance and convey your message even more stronger. Now in this, I could have given this be heard in a smaller font as well. But if I give it in a smaller font, will it be as impactful as it is when you see it on a full screen? Now, if I had reduced the size of the word be heard, obviously the importance of that particular word or that element goes a little unnoticed. So it's about highlighting the correct thing that you would want to highlight. You show the audience what you want them to see. Now, if I want them to see these blurred hands, as you can see in where my mouse pointer is right now, if these are the ones that you want them to highlight, I would rather zoom in even bit more and kick this hand out of the frame so that the focus is on these hands. But my focus is on this. So even if it's a little off center, the other three being blurred gives this hand the focus that it needs to have. And that combined with this wording of be heard effectively makes it look a little bit more intriguing. Like, okay, you want us to be heard for what? Then comes in the target audience to whom it is addressed to. And then you give the information. Okay, what exactly are they expected to do? And then the final point is that you go ahead and give them a URL or the place where they can go to take the entire message forward. 
so that way with these four elements one the audience second the context third you show them what you want them to hear and fourth what is the next course of action after looking at your design so if you can cover these four points in a single element in a single design then your achievement of an effective design is pretty much achieved now let me give you another simple example just one minute i'm just stopping my sharing so one second so let me give you another simple example of uh, another design which is like you know a meeting poster all right let me show you one of the meeting posters that we have made so that it will be easy for you to understand it's it's a sample template that i have made so i'm just going to go ahead and show you that sample template right now all right share my screen let me know once it's visible you guys is it visible yeah karan okay so now if you see this is a very basic very minimal kind of a meeting design right now if you are somebody who has taken over as a vp pr of a brand new club and you have like no clue how to go about it so this can be your basic minimal template is what i would call this because the information that you need meeting number the club number and the club name give the meeting theme name whatever the meeting theme is then you put a put a picture that's related to the theme this is optional if you don't want to put it don't put it that's up to you then you give the meeting date time and link now if there is any social media presence for your club you give that and in the bottom you give the club contact details usually the president vppr or vp membership would be uh, you know giving their contact over here now this is a light color dark font theme correct the majority of the portion is light font light color and of dark font now the next one is the opposite it's dark background and light fonted theme so now example where these will be useful now this one is useful when you are sitting in a bright room when you are sitting in a well lit room then something like this would actually be easy to read but if you are sitting in a dimly lit room if you are not having that much amount of like if you are you know like the lights are off in the room and you are like you know in a dark corner then things like this would actually help because it will not be harsh on your eyes so that way meeting designs can be of the same template but you can play around with the background and the font colors that way you can make the same theme and in, in an interesting way like say for example if you are having a meeting theme on say horror movies would you go for something like this like white or yellow you will go for darker spooky colors you will go for black or maroon you know that kind now if it's a spooky theme this background if you are using a single background this would actually be helpful for you right so it completely depends on the theme that you're doing that how you would want to go ahead and express yourself with respect to the theme yeah so i just want to take a pause here any questions anybody so far like to add one point here to what yes, karan is saying that apart from experimenting with the color what you can also experiment with is the aspect ratio that uh, you don't really want to have all the posters in a portrait mode because one of the biggest problem why i don't make posters in post in uh, the portrait mode is because you can't share it on instagram you need to have it on that is to four ratio so i whenever i make posters i make it on landscape because it ex it accepts 16 is to 9 also so that is something that you can experiment with and also one of the most important part uh, the one of the most important mistakes that i used to make initially was i used to bombard my posters with information even if it's a uh, simple meeting information uh, club meetings i used to put so much information and it used to have the even the images it used to be so loud that it uh, <laughs> weren't really pleasing to the eyes so that is something hello with experience definitely hello But hello these things in mind hello yeah i uh, sir actually mere ko ek issue aa raha hai jab bhi main jab bhi main select karke aapka usko annotation ko dalna cha raha hu मान लीजिए मैं पेज को नीचे रिव्यू कर रहा हूँ तो वो ऊपर अपने आप ऊपर आ जाता है 
फिर मेरे को पूरा ड्रिल करना फिर नीचे जाना पड़ता है फिर वो नोट आई थिंक इट्स एन अदर कॉल इट्स नॉट इन द टू पी आर एड्रेस हां या सो वेयर वाज आई व्हाट वाज आई टॉकिंग अबाउट करेक्ट don't be loud and do not ha yeah 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 so don't be loud yes so just try to make sure that the even the image that you are using for the portrait uh, for your poster is does not have too much of element and also the text that you are using is just minimal you don't really want to bombard your posters with too many of information you can probably put that in the content i'll also show you uh, the two examples of what is a good poster what's a bad poster before that i'll uh, i would rather have questions from people I had one question. I'm Reena here. Yes, hello, Reena. Yes. Uh, initially, you showed the poster with the hand. I just wanted to know: uh, was that something that you worked on and made uh, one hand focus, or was it just a picture that you picked up from the, you know, the yeah, download or whatever? So, <laughs> yes. So there are two ways to go about it. If you are not pro with Photoshop, you can choose an image that has just that one hand focus and remaining blurred out. But if you are pretty good with Photoshop, you can actually pick a picture that has a lot of hands in it and blur out the rest except for the one that you want to highlight. So, so how it, did you do that? That was the question. That how did I you picked up the image? I I picked up an image. I didn't have the bandwidth to go ahead and blur it out in Photoshop. So I picked up the image. I just went with it. Okay. And one more That's question. True. I don't know if it's the right time, but do we really need Canva Pro, or do you are you everyone managing without the canva pro not at all canva <laughs> pro is not needed at all even okay. at district level or any level it's not needed the it's not mandatory it's like see, there are it's, certain yeah it's, it's it's not needed at all it's not needed the amount of resource that we have in canva for free that's just enough for your creativity correct right. but if you are very particular you want something in pro itself then go for pro that's up to you but i <laughs> think not necessary that uh, what he said is correct But if you are very particular that I want this particular element itself, if you are like you know specifically wanting some specific thing which is in Pro, then you will have to go Pro. Like you, still, said, yeah. like you said that you do uh, posters in landscape. I was trying to do a poster for mm -hmm. the media, and it says that to revamp the size or to get a bigger size, I need to buy Canva Pro. Uh, yeah. So Rina, here uh, now the problem with Canva is that if you start your poster with a square mode or in any other mode. then you cannot change it to any other mode it has to be the same one you can start with a fresh 16 is to 9 or 3 is to 4 but you cannot change it in canva however if you use some other applications like adobe spark post there you can change it so you can probably uh, try out that application also that is the one that i use always for creating posters i'll mention it in the chat as well yes please thank you thank you Not so yes, yeah. let me uh, one second. Let me just. Ah, uh, and now I'll share my screen for just a second. Now that yes. I yes. have mentioned about uh, Photoshop, so yes. I'll show you an image that I had uh, uh, prepared last year. Ah, uh, so it features it features Karan as well. Are you able to see it? Oh no 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 not this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uh, it's actually a photoshopped image actual images of uh, Kayanu Reeves from the film John Wick but i had put Karan's photo here because i was probably learning photoshop at that time so if you are learning it if you want it then you can probably do it but it's not necessary definitely not so guys it's about how you can have fun with respect to photoshop or any illustrator or any other tool it's about how you can have fun all right so now that particular poster it actually created waves across the district because one of course the hairstyle was resembling what our deep has right now <laughs> and uh, the concept that we brought about was the roast and toast so those guns kind of were like indicating the roast so that's what i was talking about the context setting and the audience that you would want to uh, target it to so that is how these things are interrelated when it comes to a design and the information that you really want to give up Now let me show you another design. Uh, uh, Karan, uh, just before that, can we have more questions? Uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. Yes. I wanted to ask something on yes. this. Yes. Yes, Shilpa, please. To use uh, editing, to edit your pics and reuse them mm -hmm. on Canva, I would prefer that we can try to use uh, mobile apps like PixArt. 
uh, where yeah. you can actually yeah. do all this uh, blurring, cropping, everything easy for, and you don't need too many techniques like Photoshop at all. It's it's quite simple way to do. Uh, it's uh, very easy if someone wants to try. I, I can tell that as exactly. well. Exactly. You That's use true. them and you use them. You make your image ready, uh, mail yourself and come back to Canva and try to use it. That, that's the tip I can give you. Absolutely. And uh, thank you, Shilpa. Do you want to add some more light on that on like, what have you tried out so far and what you felt was most comfortable with it? And the question is open to all. After Shilpa, if you have also used some other app that you would want to talk about, please unmute and speak about it. Yeah, I can uh, give my experience. Uh, I use most of the things. I don't come onto a laptop and do all these things because almost the office work is on laptop. So the rest of the things that I want to do is on mobile. So I use this app called Picard, uh, which is very easy to use to crop and to you know blur the backgrounds or do all, all this that I want to use. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I have another app called Flyer Makeup which helps in having the all, all the kind of resolutions that you are speaking about, Instagram image, Facebook cover page, Facebook uh, pic, all, all that predefined. You just have to fit in your content and you use that. And again, I haven't paid uh, for it. I am using the free service, but if anyone wants to really pay and buy in some more fonts or some more backgrounds, you're free to do that with that apps as well. Uh, otherwise, as you get images from uh, download from Google and you use as whatever background you want, they are free to do that. And how much you want to blur opacity uh, adjustment, everything is very, very uh, comfortable. Yes, ma'am, uh, the flyer maker I'm mentioning is an app, a flyer space maker. I will type here. It's very con convenient uh, for people like me who do not want to sit in front of laptop anymore after their business. Ma'am, you told another app name also in the beginning. What yes, yes. I'll put both the uh, one is Pixart and Pixart yes. and one is uh, uh, Flyer Maker. I use Andrew, these very take a note of all this and we can uh, it. yes it, it's all in the chat we are keep mentioning that i have even yeah. I mentioned pixart in the chat and uh, shilpa you'll be happy to know that even i don't use laptop to create posters for last 2 years i have not made a single poster on laptop it's always via phone and okay. the reason i use this adobe spark post is because it's very friendly on phone on desktop it's horrible but <laughs> okay <it's very> good. <laughs> On uh, web, it's uh, on app, it's very good. So that's what I even I do. You guys, try it so, out. Uh, I could see a few of you were unmuting yourselves. Uh, I could see Rani was unmuting. Devi Prasad was unmuting. Yeah, Devi Prasad, you want to go ahead first? Yeah. Uh, so uh, the Canva, are we? Do we? Can we do it through app also? The whatever yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Whatever. yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes. Absolutely. Almost every feature is supported except for you want like in some pictures. You may not get the proper alignment with the app. For that, I just open up my laptop and just do the alignment part of it. Rest everything I even do on my phone itself. Uh, the reason why I'm asking is that my, on my laptop, if I open Canva, it will say some privacy error is coming and will not supposed to do so. Uh, you can do everything. One year yeah, division, okay. I was <laughs> division PRM, I did via my phone. <laughs> in, in fact, even yeah. last year, I was a part of coronation PR team, everything via phone. I've never used desktop. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, Devi Prasad, you want to add anything else? Any other no. app that you use about that we should be knowing about? No, I'm just starting. So no. there's nothing much I can add out. Uh, okay. Great. Uh, Rani, you uh, have. Karen. Yes. Yes. Uh, Karen, shall I go? I have a doubt actually. Yes. So, yes. Uh, like uh, uh, Anudeep and uh, Shilpa told that you can make the poster through phone. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, how you will go with this alignment? Is it like uh, user-friendly? How you go with the alignment things so, and all? Center it, align or... It's like, yeah. so when you move the element in phone, you will be able to see where it is. Like So when it is center align or if it's aligned with some other element, you can see it with dotted lines or a straight line. That way, 99% okay. of the cases, you will get the alignment right. But you want mm -hmm. to keep, say, one element here off-center, and another element here off center and you want to check the alignment between these two 
that becomes a little difficult with four that's it if you have sometimes too many elements in place sometimes that also works because when i use adobe so they have this feature of diagonal alignment also so it does help so uh, it, it's just see it's just of trying to experiment with the application and you will find many features there are many features which are there in canva which is not in spark post which is there in spark and not in canva absolutely play around you just have to play around so uh, great great anyway i'm going to try it absolutely exactly yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah thank Vidya you i had mentioned about postermywall.com and prashant had agreed that's good so can one of you unmute and tell us what it is about so that everybody is aware of it so that people can go back and use them for themselves as well Prashant, sure uh, yep Vidya? let me let me go correct yeah yes yeah so, yeah please i was researching uh, self learning more on canva i found this poster my wall uh, okay. it has very good features in fact there are a lot of uh, built in images which can be used of course there's a price attached but there's also a lot of uh, stock images which are free uh -huh. uh, the best part again there are pros and cons to both the apps but the post my wall also has a very good concept of a flyer a poster kind of a piece and it has some built in templates so what i do is that the moment i get to know that there is a particular theme of my club meeting i search for that theme okay for example my upcoming club meeting is actually on freedom so i searched for freedom i found a lot of templates i utilize that and then i modify to what i want right then i applied all the uh, standard branding colors uh, my my standard logos and all of that so that way my life becomes easier because there's something which is already ready made and mm -hmm. then you improvise it uh, but yeah there is there is definitely a lot of good stuff about poster memo great so thank you so much prashant for uh, sharing it and uh, Yes, Tapan had a question, and Anupam had kind of answered that. So he was asking, which is a good app to create graphs? <coughs> so yeah, Canva has features, but you know nothing can beat Excel and PowerPoint when it comes to graphs. They offer so many options. You make those graphs, you save it as an image, and use it on the other app. That always helps because you can give all your data points, whatever you want to put it in the graph, and you make the graph as accurate as you want to. then save it as an image put it out there if you can't save it as an image there is always a snipping tool snip it copy save use simple all right uh, can we move forward if anybody has anything else uh, to add uh, karan i have a question for anudeep yes yeah anudeep, uh, anudeep uh, you are mentioning about uh, having the minimal amount of information in posters uh, mm -hmm. i am also from that school of uh, thought So, if you can share a couple of examples, I would really appreciate it. Sure, uh, sure, sure. I'll yeah. give you one example. I have that ready. Very well, very well, very well. Uh, so, uh, and if you want to show that example, or uh, yeah, I'm I'm sharing. I'm sharing this. Yes. Thing. I'll so show one. So, we'll take your question after that. Okay. Yeah. I'll first show you uh, one second. A bad example. <laughs> bad example. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, so if you see here the biggest now if i see it i think i had mentioned too much of information here this description this is not needed at all this is too much so even though i have not mentioned too much of if of information about the meetings and all because i had gained some experience but all these things these are these are not really required a good example uh, however is this one. can you see it Not yet, Anudeep. Not yet. Okay, okay, okay. One second. Um, you may have to unshare and share it. Yeah. Uh, yes, I was not sharing my screen. One second. Ah, uh, now can you see it? Yeah, Anudeep. Yes. Now, if you see, I have just mentioned one line, and that's it. No nonsense. Nothing about what has he done, how many DTMs that he have, if he has or doesn't have. Just one line. That's it. Even in the case of Arjun, had I just mentioned. one line about him that would have worked correct i had mentioned the just so because i had got a bio so i had just written it so that he doesn't feel offended but actually people do not feel offended just write one line or two line they don't even look at the poster right this is the approach and, that you rather should have and if you uh, want to oh, sorry no sorry even in uh, the profession that i follow that is image consulting we say less is more Exactly. Yes, that works for nearly everything. Whether you're talking of accessories, the kind of the dress up, or the posters, I think this less is more is like should be our motto. 
Absolutely. Sure. Sure. Because uh, I can give you two simple reasons on why it is more effective. Because one is the visual recall for most of us is much more. So if we have the name of the person and the picture and the minimal information, it's easy for us to recall that much. But if there is so many description in the poster itself, people are going to be like, oh no, I have to read through all this now. So for that, we have something called as the poster description, which we will be posting along with the poster. So you, you can go all descriptive in the poster because it's a message. Whereas in the poster, keep it as minimal as possible. Oh yeah. This is also one of the... <laughs> <laughs> you only made it go for it <laughs> yeah so this is another one of the posters that i made and at that time i thought that okay wow what a poster <laughs> but now if i look at it there is just so much of information it's all crammed up here a big logo 29 days all these things it's really not required and if you see at the bottom i don't even know what's all written here if i as an audience if i look at the poster i won't even read at all these things as a creator, I think that, okay, if I mention all these points, people will have clarity, but really it's not. You should really have minimal amount of information. I don't know why did I put this QR code? People are not really going to open their laptops and going to scan. It doesn't really matter. So no QR codes. Uh, Unless and until you need a QR code for something of that sort, then go for it. Otherwise, if it's, a, if it's a big poster, then yes, but people really don't go... <laughs> And photos in front of the laptops. I, I know why you put it there, all so much of information. So today you could teach us what's right and what's wrong. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're Absolutely. So fast. Because you won't believe even after putting this out. So this was when I was the division director and Arudhi was the PR manager. The two of us worked on this as a matter of fact. And I'm also guilty as charged. Now when I look at it, I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> No, that's the first question. And you won't believe even after releasing this out, we got so many questions. And at that time, we were thinking, oh, people are reading through. Then right. now, when we were also, you know, going through all these posters again, then we realized, oh, no. We were like, you know, we put in so much of information on this that we kind of backfired at us. Right. Right? So, yeah. Now, uh, let me just uh, share my screen and show you another poster. Some of you must have seen this. Some of you may have not. Um, so it's like, um, it's about the club officer announcement templates that you guys have got. I don't know how many would have got it, but some of you would have got it. I'm just quickly sharing my screen on that. If you see this now here, there are like seven people whose pictures are to be put in, you know, that information is going to come in here, right? So now, how will you put something without cramming up that much amount of space? So this is your answer to that. You keep those things at a very spaced out in a neat manner. Even then, it doesn't look crammed up. But I would say keeping it like this is actually helpful. Because I have seen posters where the president is like, you know, the central spike of the wheel. And then the wheel has six spikes. Each end of the spike is the other roll taker. I'm like... Okay, what are you trying to say? It's one fourth of the Ashoka Chakra? No. Design is expected to be neat, simple, and easy to comprehend. They should not look at it and go, oh. They should go look at it and go, okay, this is neat. It's like, wow. That wow factor should be there in the designs that you make. Now, if you look at it over here, this is the information only that you will need. You need not give a... Uh, an adjective for your president's name, an adjective for your VPN's name, nothing of that sort. Because the more information you put in over there, the more it is going to get confusing. You put the club name, you put the club number, you put the area, the division, and you're done with it. And even in this, you experiment with the colors. See? Like that. These are the options. Absolutely. A design has only three reactions. Yes, no, and wow. Absolutely. So these things actually will help you understand how a particular design would work, whether it will work or it won't. Now, let me take you to another design. One second, which is this. Some of you would have seen it. Some of you may not have. Oh, not this one. This one. So over here, if you see, now, this was something that was published out into the social media. 
Now, can you guys tell me what exactly are we trying to say here? There are like multiple definitions or multiple variants to what people comprehend from this image. Let's let's put Anadip on spot. Where is Gregory? Yeah. You see this guy over here? See, that's the same guy. So, what is your thought? What 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 is it that comes to your mind when you see such an image of five people in such a format? Uh, the person in the center is someone prominent. Okay. And the other four ends, they are equal. So maybe they are uh, probably one level lower and equals. Excellent. Wonderful. Great. Ravi. That, that's a very good point and uh, an excellent observation. Absolutely right. Anybody else wants to add some more to what Ravi just mentioned? It looks too scattered, as in too much distance. Okay. Like you I have would to say from this corner of the screen to that corner, so it takes you all over. I mean, as I'm not sure, but I'm trying to. Okay. I would say current they are me, very well structured from an alignment perspective. It's very appealing to the eye. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, there there are four corners, okay, mm -hmm. which are fully utilized, and there's a center of the object. Uh, and I think the message, uh, including the arrows, right, are pointing very well to the center of the division B director that, hey, these are the four people. It's, it's like a flower and a bud, if I may call Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Wonderful. Great. Continue. Maybe we can take two to three more responses and then... Uh, no, no, I, I'm done. That's it. That's what I wanted to share. But it's it's a very nice uh, structure. Out there. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yes. Anybody else wants to add anything more to their interpretation of this poster? I agree to all the points that Prashant has mentioned now. And I think earlier there was another speaker who said... But there's just one thing that, um, I don't know, from my perspective is that I had to really look through the poster to understand what is it that we are conveying here. Okay. In the sense, uh, not a heading. Yes, when you know, I looked at it, within a minute, I understood, okay, this is the, each division, uh, the mm -hmm. council members of each division is what we are trying to showcase here. Like you have the division director with her team mm -hmm. uh, from each of the other areas. Mm -hmm. However, I don't know, um, it, it might be just <laughs> my eyes that uh, that main message, okay, what is this? Okay, this is a Division D team or mm -hmm. Division D leadership team. Mm -hmm. That somehow wasn't getting called out for me very clearly, though it is there. It mm -hmm. is there, mm -hmm. but not very clearly called out until you go in there and look at, read each of the captions. Right. Okay. What about the Toastmasters logo? Isn't that uh, important? I don't see it. It anywhere. is even if, see, having a Toastmaster logo in your poster is not mandatory, okay. but whether you have it or not, you abide by the brand guidelines. That's what we have done over here as well. So because if I put the Toastmaster logo here or here, it's going to misalign the entire thing. So here there will be an extra element and it's going to, you know, like misalign the entire stuff. So that way, it is not mandatory to put it. If you put it, great. If you don't, it's fine. It's okay. Anybody else wants to add or can I go ahead and give you yeah. what exactly went in my mind? Yeah, this is Rani here. Uh, when yeah. I look at this poster as a guest, uh, um, uh, no, I feel, you know, it looks good, but I'm really getting confused where exactly I start uh, because I have a feeling it's all, you know, it's scattered. Right. And uh, and uh, the compared to the initial frame uh, you showed, right, uh, how to position the president and other members, mm -hmm. uh, that that sh gives me, uh, you know, uh, perception of uh, showing uh, some hierarchy level. But here, uh, that I don't feel. Uh, they doesn't show any kind of hierarchy here, like. But mm -hmm. I somehow feel it's uh, really scattered and uh, maybe... Uh, lack of info something like that that's the first kind of uh, no perception i okay. just get okay. uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah yeah okay now let me just give you the understanding and answer to all your questions okay so first and foremost the reason why all these four arrows are pointing to the center is what prashant pointed out because she is the division director and these are her team members so all these five put together is like a flower and their buds. It's like the flower and its petals. That's how it is defined as. It also defines to be the era of online meetings. So all of these 
indicates the pins that you get on Google Maps. If you look at all these shapes, even though they are not pointing downwards, all of them are a representation of a Google pin indicating an area. And an area cannot be next to each other. That is why they are scattered apart. Unlike the club officer poster that I showed you, where they work cohesively as a team. Here also, they work cohesively as a team, but they have their own team as well to handle. So if I had kept them like how I had for the club XCOM, it may not be that effective. And third, when it comes to the sequencing of this, that is where the naming convention and the area D1, D2, that comes into picture. So when you are reading through, even if you read through all of it, you read it in any sequence, once you read all of them, you will have an understanding that, okay, this is the main person, these four are her team members, and these five constitute the division D team, which is conveyed in the description of the post, which was shared along with all of these. There were eight such posters that were made. So with all these eight, it was conveyed very clearly that we have the division directors and the area directors who will be serving the clubs for this particular calendar year. All right, so that is how this entire thing was lined up. If you look at it, all the pictures are like that. Yeah, I hope I kind of answered your questions, whatever questions you had. Now, another thing that people try to do is, now we have kind of come to a, like a, a middle section of our session for today. Uh, we talked about content, we talked about placing the elements and everything. Now, what if you are planning to make a collage? Now, this is an example of a good collage, I would say, because the more pictures you have, the more complicated it gets to put them in place. The more difficult it is to put these many pictures in a single frame. So what you can do is you can have a pairing, a pair of two or a pair, a group of four, and you duplicate them all around wherever you want them to be. And then you update the picture and the description of each of this. So this I had made for the area directors, area directors in this group. I hope this is still your DP of your group. So this is what I had made for them. And this was something that I had made for the division directors as well. See that? So similarly, when you have a template in place, it becomes very easy for you to experiment with the template. You keep a template, you do a copy of the template, do any experimenting you want, that will effectively give you a better design as well. So I started off with this and I ended up with this. So both came out pretty well, but here, I could not do the grouping of four options. So I had to go for a grouping of two. But again, after I grouped it, I went ahead and enlarged all of it so that I could give the names of everybody properly. Now, I could have used the same thing for Club XCOM as well, but it wouldn't have been effective because I can't give the name in the center. That may not look that great. So like this, you can have an option of how to go about with respect to collages as well. It's not just about the content. It's not just, just about one single image in the poster. It can be about, like say for example, if one of your clubs has achieved an award and you want to put out a poster with all the members' photographs on it, what will you do? That is your answer. You can go for collages that does not complicate things, but still puts every picture into a same place. Everybody have their own individuality, but still it doesn't look crammed up altogether. Also to add on to Karan for uh, collage, in fact, I also used to think that collage is one of the most difficult part of making posters, but Canva has many of those uh, templates, plenty of templates. You can play around with it. Just put in the necessary colors that Toastmasters uh, guidelines has provided, but the number of templates are plenty. You can just play it around. And in fact, on uh, many of the collages, you'll find that the design is very good, but there are just space for five uh, images. You can minimize the, maybe change the size of the photo and add in more of them. Or you can also change the frame also of the photos. That's perhaps one of the most interesting part that even Karan showed. There are plenty of frames uh, that you can find in the element section of Canva. You can experiment and you can play around. But the you, you should also, as a new VPPR, as a new person in the PR, you can you should in fact play around with the templates. There are plenty of them. And in fact, many of time you'll find that 
you start as one thing and you'll end up with something entirely different. You'll not be able to recognize the two of the uh, templates, but you just have to play around and experiment and you'll learn. Okay. Uh, just want to add one more thing, you guys. See, you cannot please every member of your club with your design. Okay. A design is completely subjective. Something that you think is like, wow, out of the world, may be extremely horrible to another person. Okay, now I'm not taking names, but since I can see a couple of folks from the same club, like say, Reena, Preeti, I'm sorry, but there may be a scene where Reena makes something really good and Preeti is like, no, this is not how it should be. And Preeti comes up with something that she feels amazing, but Reena is like, how can you even make this? There will be conflicts, there will be opinion, a difference of opinions. It's about, along with the design, what you should learn is to convince the other person that your design is better and your design is good enough to go on the social media. You can reason it out with them. Like, you know, okay, why did I put this kind of an element in this particular place? There must have been a thought process why you put it. You won't be putting something randomly like that. Correct? So you have you have to have a plan when it goes into the design. That's why Anudeep said that you start off with something and end up to be something else because you plan along the way as you make the design. And that kind of makes it more achievable for you to convince the other person that why you made this particular element in your design. So one thing, if you have noticed the certain posters that certain people release out, like in some clubs and in some other districts that I've seen, they just have a template for all the award announcements. They have a template for all the member achievements. They have a template for all the meeting posters. So you can go ahead and have certain templates for each of the activity that you plan to do. And each of those can be constantly updated with the updated information that you could want to put in. Thank you. Go ahead. Yes, Anudhi, yeah. all yours. Yeah, okay. yeah, like this is one of the templates that we use for our Division D award. So as it was in fact quite live, one <laughs> district was announcing awards and we were keep editing the template and we were sharing it. So that really helps uh, having one. And there is one more template that I had prepared. Just a moment, let me share that as well. So as a Division D, we had an, an initiative for 30 days for that yeah. template. Just yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this is actually one of my favorite templates that I had created. Oh, yes. So, yeah. so right. So, um, uh, the, the concept behind the award was, or the campaign was that for the last month, the month of June, we had nothing to do, but we had to do something. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we thought I mean, of, that's a trade secret. You can't reveal it. Out. <laughs> Sorry. We thought of me. coming up with something in which on every 30 days, we'll come up with an achievement that Division D had provided. So this was a template that we had. And this particular day, we were sharing names of people who had won uh, Triple Crown Award. It, there were 45 members from our division and all the names were mentioned in the background. So it's a very simple design, not nothing much mentioned here. All the names in the background and also it, the transparency was reduced. So a pretty neat poster. Similar uh, design uh, or template was used for other campaigning campaigns or other awards also. But the amount, the content was minimum. So this is something that we use. And and maybe, can you uh, have a yeah. question, Anna? Yes. 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 Uh, uh, okay. So uh, your question. Just out of yes. curiosity. Yes. No, no, not a question with regard to this uh, poster. Uh -huh. You, uh, Upper, you have written super 30 and down it is 45. Does that super 30 signify something else? Yes. So, so uh, it was <laughs> yeah, <Stop> so, <laughs> I'll tell you. So, uh, I'll tell you the whole story. So, in the, in the month of May, I and Karan were having discussion that, okay, the term is about to end. We have to do something because we have nothing to do. So we thought of coming up with a campaign for the month of June as a PR campaign. So June has 30 days. So we decided that each and every day we will come up with one of the achievements that Division D has come up with in the whole term. So that's why Super 30. And here, if you see, we had released it on 26th of June. So that's why the number 26 was written here. This was the day when we released this education award and the triple crown award that these many people have won, uh, 45 members have won triple crown award. And if you, if you zoom in a bit in the background, you will see their names. 
whoever yeah. had won the triple crown their name was put in the background as well and then if you can take out the meme stars poster uh, yeah 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 i will yeah, let me let me, let me try. search it out in the meantime suvarna you had a question and prashant you also had a question so i'll come to your questions now suvarna had promised you i'll come to back to your question please ask your question yeah uh, when creating posters sometimes we use cartoons and uh, many times i'll have to google it is and does anybody do a cartoon on their own and maybe then take a pic and put it over there or everyone uses whatever is available see so i can answer your question in two parts one is as per the branding you are not supposed to have cartoons on your poster okay but if you really want to have cartoons on your poster it depends on whether there is an artist in the group so i know one person from a club called speech weavers she does doodles and she does kind of these sketches so i'm not sure if she is here vandana her name is vandana not sure no she's not here okay so uh, it's like if you know somebody who can do sketches for you you can get that sketch and get it scanned through cam scanner or some, something and you can put it in the poster or if you don't have anybody go for the cartoons that are sketched also you get sketched images not just printed like you know animated pictures you can get sketched cartoon images also on the net you can use them as well that's up to you that's up to your creativity so all together did i answer your question yeah i just wanted to know if anybody was doing which is the app they are using so because many a times i am not able to express with whatever is there so i want to put it down but uh, not that great of a artist so i thought if anyone is aware of an app Man, there are caricature apps and everything in in play store there are caricature making apps you can upload a poster photo in there and the app will provide you with a you know um, caricature version of that particular photograph there is also this uh, app called as photo sketch i remember using this a couple of time photo sketch that basically gives you a sketched version pencil sketch version of the photo you upload into it be it color or black and white mm-hmm. photo sketch is another option and there are a lot of caricature apps available on the play store so you can try exploring those photo sketch is an excellent choice because it doesn't eat up much of your memory and it's very fast thank you Prashant, you had a question. Please lower your hand and ask the question for us. Yeah, I think I think it is not a question, but more of a comment to what you are saying. Right, a few okay. things I just wanted to share. One was, yes, there will be uh, some conflicts which will happen uh, you know, when you want to release from a theme. I, I just want to share my thoughts on that. Yes. As a VPPR, once I get to know from the TMOD what the theme is, I think there are only two people I go and share my initial drafts to. One is the president, and second is the TMOD, uh, mm-hmm. that that person, because that person will have whatever thoughts based on how they want to articulate and so on. And and once that is done, uh, then that's it. You know, the the poster gets released out from from the timeline perspective. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I've realized that if you release it to more and more people. more and more feedback comes in and we cannot right. sit and take care of it right yeah. so this is something which my president and i discussed because at the end of the day to your point very valuable is the vppr will have the best idea from a thought design architecture colors everything right we would have put in a lot of effort and 101 feedback will come you can't incorporate it yeah. there will be fine tunes to be done so my suggestion to if if you are not doing it then keep it to two or three people only who are relevant who are relevant to the meeting and to the theme get it fixed and and do whatever fixes are required okay that's that's one and two to your template yes i think this helped me in the last 30 days a lot i have created at least five to six templates ready made which makes my life very easier in in the future right you know like recognition and this the only template i spend time is actually on the club meeting because i want to make it as innovative as possible every meeting i want to make it different but rest all which are more regular and ongoing i think it's it's a template so my suggestion to everyone would be put some effort right now create the templates with colors and everything you just need to change the name and the photograph job gets done very easier right. thank you absolutely thanks for thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and perspective on this absolutely very well said um along with it so just for adding one point to what prashant mentioned in many of your clubs the tmod decides the theme and you work with the tmod and the president now there are clubs where the vp pr also decides the theme 
no denial there are clubs where the vppr decides the theme and then rolls it up so if the power or if the control of deciding the theme is in your hands whenever you have time a saturday or a sunday or any given point in time you churn out the posters you keep giving it to the president okay these are the meeting themes and you know like let me know if this is okay and as the president says okay share it out to your club member saying this week this is the theme let me know who would be the tmo that way you can also play around with the themes however way you want it to don't start it as a practice if you don't have it as of now but i'm just saying that if you are somebody who can make posters many posters in one shot you can try this idea out for like maybe two weeks or maybe three weeks in your club and see if that works out to be a creative output for all of you not for everybody it may work for some of you it will work so see if that can be made possible at your club see if that is possible and okay. one more point one more point yes, suppose uh, suppose if there is no person whom you can consult like if a president is not very good in designing or any of uh, the person is not very good in designing do one thing prepare a poster a day before you are supposed to release and next day look at the poster if the poster is bad you will know it <laughs> so uh, uh, if the next day if you see the poster and if say oh, what the hell have i made it then change, make the changes yourself so that is even what i used to do i used to look at the poster the next day and used to see okay it's not as good as it was looking yesterday so i used to make changes this is something that you can do if you are alone if you don't really have somebody to reach out to absolutely uh, sakshi wanted to ask sakshi wanted to ask a question yes yeah sakshi please unmute if possible switch on your video and ask a question then applause to everybody please sakshi can you hear us Okay, we can probably wait. Sakshi, okay, all right. So, um, okay, then in that case, uh, we'll come back to Sakshi a little later. Well, um, one quick question, if I may. This okay. is Lakshmi here. Yes, Lakshmi, please. Uh, Karan, uh, the gradient background that is there in most of the posters, would you be covering that? later on or uh, can you just show how you do that sure absolutely so uh, let me let me share my screen just one second so can you guys see me See my screen, please. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. So see now, this particular poster has three gradient colors in them as the background, right? So now here I can go and change the colors as I want. But one thing you have to take care is when the gradient changeover takes place, it shouldn't create a new color. You want to see this? See now, this creates a kind of a green over here. Let me yes. zoom in a little bit more. Sorry, too much. Yeah. Now you see when it transitions from the yellow to the blue, it kind of a green is formed in between. Whereas if I stick to my maroon, it doesn't happen. So you pick up the gradients over here. You can you can search for like as a gradient background. You will get a lot of options here. and some of them so the ones with this are the pro ones and there are these also which are keep flowing and floating around those are static ones that's up to you to decide but you pick a gradient background and in that you pick up the colors what are the colors that you would want now if i choose it to be the other way around like say example i give this and this and this see so it's up to you to decide how you would want to operate how you would want to give the gradient colors some cases what will happen is now uh, there are options where you can give a gradient from blue to another blue as well in the branding manual if you have noticed in the gradient section that's newly they've introduced for the red for the maroon and the blue and the gray they have a gradient version of themselves so if you want to stick to a single color you can still use the same gradient tool and put the two gradient variants of the same color as well 
so now this is how i put in the gradient i put in a gradient element and i make it as a background i move it to the back and i cover it fully with the replace it with the background that's how i generally do it with canva anudeep do you want to add something to this with respect to the spark post uh, uh spark post does not have uh, the gradient part so <laughs> if i were to choose it i would probably uh, use both the app i would use the gradient part here i would save it as a transparent uh, thing or as whatever i need i'll remove all the other elements i'll just save it the gradient part then i'll take it to the uh, spark post and then i'll use it we have to use it i mean uh, we do need to use multiple apps if you <laughs> actually want to do it absolutely see so this one this one one last uh, karan uh, karan uh, also you can also talk about this transparent uh, image thing transparency right? right yeah okay sure i'll do that so this is one thing that i used so there is this option that helps you create word clouds you can use that as so this is what i used for this poster the poster that we had released for the session i had created this question mark i uploaded an image of a question mark i gave in all these words and i created a word cloud out of it and then i downloaded the image i put it as a background of that's it it's as simple as that so you can use word cloud creator also into it and coming to the transparency part of it uh okay i think i can open this one don't mind this is my home club's poster don't mind uh here we have the 70% transparency layer see that is the actual color and i gave in another layer with 70% transparency making it look even more lighter that 70% transparency element is what was mentioned in the brand manual as well so if you want to have a lighter shade of that entire color see the difference just see the difference uh, is, i also wanted to ask one question whether can we uh, save an image in the canva with uh -huh. the this thing with just the text and not the background you know that uh, the transparent image the, the one png is uh, when PNG you say transparent anything image yes. png exactly that is possible with the pro version if i am not wrong see over here okay because in in adobe spark post you can do it with free you don't need to have a pro version just giving a tip so whenever i have to download a transparent png image i use uh, i use spark post every time but there you can do it for free so for a transparent background or a lower quality file for those kind of things and for changing the size and everything you will have to have a pro version in canva like for example if you have prepared a logo like you are not supposed to have a logo but for a thank you yeah <laughs> please continue we'll have that discussion but yeah. suppose if you are preparing a logo and if you have to use it for all the posters you will not be creating it every time so you just download that particular logo as a transparent image in which the background color won't be saved just the font or just the that logo will be saved with transparent image that you can use it in all your posters that is a feature that is in there in uh, adobe spark post i use that in canva it's not there it's a shame so um we are kind of towards the end of our session right now so sakshi had a question we'll take sakshi's question sakshi if you could unmute then if possible switch on your video and ask your question uh yeah am i audible yes sakshi you are audible yes yeah uh, sorry for the inconvenience it was some issue uh, so uh, i'm the uh, pr manager for division e uh, i saw your uh, super 30 post and it had a lot of fonts different fonts so i went through the brand manual and uh, it has a couple of fonts which are not uh, even available on canva so can you help me out with that yes so uh, oh. with that uh, i'll answer that because i created that poster he made that poster yeah don't worry about it take you take See, one for uh, the <laughs> look the district has been hell bent on the brand guidelines from this term till even till last month in the poster that district had released for area directors nomination even that was not brand compliant so it's this term that we are focusing more on the brand guidelines so and yes the many of the fonts mentioned there were not compliant and uh, the one that i had shared for before for this thing coronation for mohammad kathani that was compliant fully But, that was fully brand compliant yeah, so guys but, let me put it this way i know uh, branding guidelines in fact in fact in fact one second i'll just uh, answer it the super 30 
just the word super is not compliant one second let me share it why am i degrading myself check it out check it out check it out yeah 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 i have it here uh so let's share this all right so i uh, say triple crown award this is monster art this that's is monster art that's also yeah. monster art yeah and one, this is you know, at alex i think it's source and pro and maybe maybe i think and okay. this is 30 a also is not monster art but uh, but the names that are mentioned in the background they are so i try to keep it as band compliant as possible and also the yellow color is also not compliant but Correct. we were having a fun time at that time nobody was really because earlier even from pi we never had too much of brand restrictions and everything and over the last two years they have also been pushing it a little bit on to us as well so that's why we are trying to you know like make you guys aware of the branding guidelines and abide by the brand guidelines as much as possible even then come up with beautiful posters so you know following the brand guideline should not be a curse it should be a blessing i would say because that should help you create much more effective posters as well i guess so yes uh, before that before we close out can we please have your videos on and the folks who have your videos on look at the camera can we take a screenshot if everybody is okay with it okay okay we can see quite a few faces coming up yes okay madha polami shweta aran anushri sukanya ram gopal if anybody of you can do that yeah one great anudip can we please have a quick screenshot taken if that's possible with you just a second uh, sorry you wanted to take a screenshot if that is okay with you yes please okay uh, okay sorry uh 1 2 3 smile thank you okay it's done are we done yeah Uh, uh, can I ask a question on yes, yes, yes. so as this session definitely it was very informative we got a lot of names of different uh, apps and things like that but is there any way that we could uh, somebody could show us from scratch how a poster was made because yes it looks very good and you know because you guys are already experienced but most of us are novices over here we mm -hmm. have one session on just understanding because Yes, it was like for me. I was my own teacher, and yes, by today I think what I was last week and what I'm today, there's a huge difference. But wow. if we could learn from you guys, it will save us so much of time, efforts. Yes, we are ready to put, but it will save the time of how to navigate that. You know, even oh, like how I would cool. download the image initially, and then how do you upload and the photo frames? That was all self learning. So if masters like you can teach us, would be great. right right we'll absolutely do. point taken no, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, anudip uh, go ahead no no i'm just uh, <laughs> writing it down that yeah uh, absolutely point session. taken yeah. rena we will definitely come back to you on that because that is something that's already in place like we are planning to have similar workshops on specific subjects as well and we want to enable our vpps as much as we could so that you know people look at our posters and our creatives and say okay that district 92 is to beat for you know like they like the best like we can't even go near anywhere you know like, it's it's impossible to beat them so that's what we are looking at so it's just a beginning of a wonderful journey of pr workshops and connecting with you guys so uh, as a concluding remark i would like to say thank you so much everybody for joining in at such a short notice and we learned a lot of things together and i sincerely hope all of you guys had fun yeah i hope you will learn something new and i hope you will learn to implement it back when you go back to your club and when you go back to your presidents now you know how to convince your president that your design can be used and everything so i am quite sure you learned something new and something was informative for you guys yeah thank you so much and i can see the comments are pouring in thanks a ton everybody thank you so much it was a 